This is the most important role of the Holy Spirit in the life of a Christian is to convict us. And Jesus did say the Holy Spirit will come to convict us of sin, but it's, he said he will convict the world of sin. But then he says some other things Holy Spirit will do convicting on. He says he will convict us of righteousness. Most of us don't feel any righteous and we need the Holy Spirit to convict us of it. Most of us think Holy Spirit is sent us to tell us how bad we are or who we are not but we fail to realize that is what he is to do in the life of the world but in the life of a Christian he is to convince us and convict us of who we are because that is the part we need the most convincing in. Jesus explains how Holy Spirit convicts us of judgment and he says the judgment that I he says the righteousness that I'm going to the Father and the judgment that the ruler of this world is being judged. So the judgment the Holy Spirit is convicting us of is not the judgment that we are judged. It's that Jesus was judged. I am not being judged and the devil is gonna be judged for what he does against me now. Why is Holy Spirit convicting us of judgment? Because when you don't know that Jesus was judged for your sin, you will constantly live your life. When something bad happened, you will immediately connect a bad event with your sin. For example, Joseph's brothers did something really bad for his brother. They were debating whether they should kill him or sell him. They won, they sold him. Years passed by, but deep in their memory, the act was never deleted. They moved on. The father was convinced. Father stopped mourning. Everything was forgotten. Except when they end up in Egypt and uh, they are perceived as spies. One of the brothers gets locked up. They huddle up together and they immediately say, God is punishing us. God is judging us. We saw how he cried and they start remembering, replaying the memories. While they're thinking God is judging them, the man who's doing this to them turn around and weeps for his love for them. How many times we go through something and something bad happens and we are convinced it has to be the judgment of God not realizing God sometimes turns around and weeps knowing I already judged my son. It's not my judgment. It's the enemy coming against you and my spirit is here to remind you the enemy will be judged for what he does to God's children.